Now, the late freedom fighter and acclaimed photojournalist Dr. Peter Magubane has been laid to rest. Dr. Magubane, who passed away on the 1st of January 2024 at the age of 91, was one of the South Africa's most distinguished photojournalists who fearlessly captured the violence and atrocities of the apartheid era during the 1976 June 16 student uprising events. Now, the internationally renowned photojournalist was also a personal photographer of the late former President Nelson Mandela after his release from prison in 1990. His special provincial official funeral service was held at the Branston Methodist Church in Johannesburg this morning with President Cyril Ramaphosa delivering the eulogy. We have just heard the many tributes paid to him by veterans in the media industry, but more especially from his family, his grandchildren and his own children. Having read the many tributes that have been panned over the past week by people who worked alongside him and who he mentored, it is clear that the description of him as a legend is clearly a fitting one. We have in our midst today men and women from various generations of journalists of which Peter Magubani, fondly known as Bra Peter, formed part. As we salute him, his contribution and his service to the people of South Africa, I also join in that salutation. In doing so, I recall, as the New York Times obituary put it, Peter Magubani's images documenting the cruelties and the violence of apartheid drew global acclaim, but punishment to him at home, including beatings, detentions, imprisonment, and 586 consecutive days of solitary confinement. But despite all attempts to break his spirit and to take him away from his craft, he would not put his camera down, as we have all heard.